Most metal fabricators and machine shops have two parts cleaning options aqueous water based cleaning or solvent based cleaning inside a vapor degreaser. Both methods can provide quality cleaning results, however, each has its distinct drawbacks and advantages. Stay tuned to learn what the differences are and how to choose the best cleaning method for your parts cleaning process. Let's define the two cleaning processes first. Aqueous, or water cleaning, uses water and chemical additives like detergents, surfactants, and more to get parts clean. Specific additives and compounds are used to boost the cleaning performance. The combination of detergents, high heat, and agitation breaks down soils and removes them from the parts surfaces. In a three-step process, parts are washed in a series of machines. A secondary rinse step carries away any detergent residue. The third step dries the parts using hot air knives or isopropyl alcohol. The cleaning agent can range from very mild and non-toxic to very strong and dangerous. Some additives react aggressively on different metals, plastic, or inks, so all parts materials must be tested for compatibility prior to cleaning. Post-cleaning tests are also needed to assure no reactive material is left behind in the rinse process. After cleaning, the wastewater is treated and or prepped for disposal by one or more processes. This can include filtering, distillation, deionization, or osmosis. Aqueous cleaning works well and is particularly useful when combining the cleaning process with other procedures like depositing rust preventers and brightener coatings. Solvent-based cleaning will clean, rinse, and dry parts inside a single machine in just one step. Most of these cleaning fluids are a mixture of compounds that can include non-flammable halocarbons with polar solvents, such as ethanol or isopropanol. The vapor degreaser can use a single cleaning fluid, a mix or a custom blended formula to remove specific soils from specific substrates for material compatibility. Parts are immersed in a vapor degreasing machine using continuously filtered and distilled cleaning fluid to dissolve the soils from the parts surface. Ultrasonic agitation can be used for extra cleaning muscle. The cleaning cycle includes a brief vapor rinse and complete drying process. The vapor degreaser reuses and recycles the cleaning fluid hundreds of times before it needs to be refreshed or replaced, reducing the cost of hazardous waste removal. The vapor degreaser cleans and dries a high volume of parts quickly, in about 6 to 20 minutes. The cleaning fluid boils at a lower temperature with less heat than the water in an aqueous system. Quicker drying time at lower heat equals less energy usage and greater safety for sensitive parts. Solvent-based cleaning also leaves no residue, stains, or spots. Some of the popular cleaning fluids used in metal fabricating and machine shops include NPB, TCE, and PERC. Fortunately, there are newer, safer cleaning fluids available now that clean just as effectively but without the worker safety or air quality concerns of the older solvents. They are more sustainable with low GWP and zero ODP. To determine if aqueous or solvent-based cleaning is better for your cleaning task, there are important factors in addition to cost. Three main considerations are the contamination on the parts, the shape of the parts being cleaned, and the throughput requirements. Resolving for all three will deliver the best possible cleaning results. There is an old saying in the industry about parts cleaning, like dissolves like, so the best way to remove contamination is to use a cleaning fluid that is chemically similar to the contaminant itself. Contaminants are typically identified as polar, inorganic, nonpolar, organic, or particulate. Polar or inorganic contaminants are soluble in water. In machining, these can include salts, soaps, emulsion residue, and oxidation like rust and tarnish, heat scale, and more. Aqueous cleaners are good at removing these contaminants since water-based detergents and surfactants emulsify and encapsulate contaminants so they can be washed away. Nonpolar or organic soils are solvent-soluble. Typical nonpolar contaminants include halogenated, oxygenated, and hydrocarbon soils like machining and stamping oils, thick grease, drawing compounds, fingerprints, and more. 
Solvent-based cleaning dissolves the contaminants and washes them away. Particulate will not dissolve in water or solvent-based cleaning fluids. These insoluble contaminants include metal chips, dust, dirt, polishing paste, and more. Instead of dissolving, the particulate is displaced or lifted off the components and then washed away. The cleaning fluid gets under the particulate, dissipates the static holding it to the part, and floats it off the surface. Displacement cleaning is used in both aqueous and solvent-based cleaning methods. Parts geometry helps dictate which cleaning method is preferred. For example, miniature intricate steel parts with tiny blind holes can be subject to corrosion with aqueous cleaning. It's difficult to remove some contaminants out of tight spaces and the risk of trapped water causing corrosion increases. In this instance, solvent-based cleaning is a better option. Solvent-based cleaning fluids have a lower surface tension and are less viscous than water, so they are better at wetting part surfaces and blind holes and evaporating out of tight spaces. On the other hand, a company might have very simple parts that need to have heat scale removed. If parts are made from aluminum, rusting is not a concern. Here, aqueous cleaning may be a better choice to remove the heat scale, especially if the company already has an aqueous system in their shop and an already established wastewater handling process. It's easier and more cost-effective to use the existing equipment instead of investing in vapor degreasing equipment and solvent-based cleaning fluids. Throughput requirements are the third consideration when determining a cleaning method. Aqueous systems typically have longer cleaning cycles due to several washing, rinsing, and drying stations. In addition, they may require mechanical spraying, agitation, and higher working temperatures to get the parts to the required cleanliness standard. This adds time and impacts throughput rate. Aqueous systems also require ongoing monitoring to ensure they are within operating parameters, including pre-wash conditioning and post-wash water treatment. In contrast, vapor degreasing is performed quickly and cleans consistently down to the sub-micron range. It does require filter replacements and the cleaning fluid needs to be periodically boiled down and removed. However, the new next generation fluids no longer require acceptance testing or scavengers to prevent them from going acid, eliminating the time needed for maintenance. The cleaning goal is to produce clean parts at the lowest possible cost to maintain profitability and overall business success. However, sustainability is increasingly important to ensure the cleaning method is environmentally friendly and as safe for workers as possible. Whether aqueous or solvent-based, either cleaning method impacts the environment. The goal is to minimize water pollution, control emissions, and limit waste disposal. When evaluating your cleaning method, it is recommended that you work with a precision cleaning expert who specializes in both aqueous and vapor degreaser solvent cleaning. They can help assess your particular cleaning project and recommend the fluids and process that will work best.